Hello everyone, welcome to Visions of Light and Love. This is a third party reading for anyone who may be in a third party knowingly or unknowingly. Um, I have been getting a lot of third party energy for this week, so I am going to do a third party reading for you all. If you are a returning viewer, welcome back. If this is your first time here, welcome to Visions of Light and Love. If the reading is not your situation, don't try to make it be. Um, this third party reading is not for everyone. This is only for people who already know that they're in a third party or for anyone with the intuition, their intuition is telling them that they're in a third party situation. Okay. So I'm going to get started. Um, viewer, your energy will be on top. Your partner's energy will be in the middle. And the third party energy will be on the last row. Apply the energy as it fits to your story. So we're going to start with the sun card. Okay, some of you could be dealing with a Leo or you are a Leo. We have the Seven of Cups here. We have the Three of Pentacles. That's that third party energy. And we have the Seven of Wands here. Okay. All right. The Double Card at the bottom of the deck. Capricorn's energy. All right, let's get your partner's energy. What is going on with my viewer's partner? What is going on with my viewer's partner? Okay, let's see. Let's see. I don't know why I'm, I can't pick these cards up right today. The Knight of Swords. Okay. The Knight of Swords. The Page of Swords. Okay. The Ten of Wands. Ooh. And the King of Swords. All right. Ooh. The Four of Swords at the bottom of the deck. This person is going through it. They are going through it. Let's see what's going on with this third party energy. What is going on with this third party energy? What's going on with this third party energy? That's crazy. I feel sorry for your person. <laughs> Sometimes it's these readings, um, the energy of them. Yeah, five of wands. I figured it was one of you. The ace of cups. The fool card. Aquarius, Aries energy, and the magician, Gemini, Virgo energy. Okay, at the bottom of the deck, the five of swords. Okay, so I know I said to my viewers, your energy on top, your partner's in the middle, and the third party's energy will be on the bottom. That is my intent for the energies to come out that way. However, if you find that the energies are vice versa, apply the energy as it fits to your story, only you know your story. And Tarot, it could always be you, your energy or their energy may come out. So let's get started. My viewer, you have the double card at the bottom of the deck. I feel like it was illuminated to you. Spirit has shown you that this person had have you in a third party situation. I feel like um could be dealing with a Capricorn as well. I feel like this person wears a mask. They may sh present themselves to you one way. But this person, in all actuality, is manipulative. 
They um, are an overindulger. They have addictions. This person may have a sex addiction. It hasn't come out yet. Possibly. But they have addictions. Anything that you do too much of is an addiction. So I feel like you've gotten some clarity that you were in a third party situation. Um, yeah, seven of cups. You got, you have gotten clarity that this person has options and they, three of pentacles, they have you in a third party situation. And with the seven of wands, I'm seeing that you block them. You have guarded your heart towards this person. And right now you could be bickering back and forth, arguing and fighting with them. You, there may be children involved in this as well, but I'm seeing, um, you block them. Some some of you may have put this person out of a home. This person is up at night. They can't sleep. They can't eat because they are trying to figure out what happened. I feel like everything happened so fast. They don't know what hit them. <laughs> they didn't know. This person may be sleeping on someone's sofa or, or on a couch. Could be sleeping on a sofa or on a couch. And this person now may be spying on you. They may be driving past your home, driving past your workplace, um, looking on your social media page because they're overwhelmed. This person feels like they're carrying the weight of the world on their back. They feel like they don't know what to do. Um, they have other people looking at them. And they want to come in to have an honest conversation with you. And they're coming in as a king. They're not coming in to play any games, not at this point. They're coming in and they're going to be serious. This third party, your person has, has been in conflict with this third party. Because the third party wants to start over. They want a new beginning with your person. They, they love your person. They are feeling very emotional about what is going on. And with this fool card, I feel like they're ready to take this risk with your person. And this third party is manifesting victory with your person. Look at it. <laughs> they are manifesting victory with your person. Wow. Wow. So let's see, what is the outcome? Because that's what we all want to know. What is the outcome here? And your person is carrying a heavy burden. They have a lot on their mind. Okay. So something has, this tower moment is taking place now. Your person is, um, the foundation of your union is crumbling. There's some arguing, fighting back and forth. There's going to be arguments, fighting. Your person may be getting counseling or advice from someone at this time. Because they do want to make change. Could be a Taurus, a Scorpio, or an Aries. They do want change. They do want something here to change. Because things, they, they're getting advice because things are, are unstable with this 10 of pentacles in a reverse. This person may be losing money. They know they stabbed you in your back and betrayed you. They could be losing money. They want to overcome the obstacles that are in your way and start over. They want to heal the relationship. And they still have hope that they can come in and heal things and move towards peace and balance. And they're being patient. They're being patient in this. This person is wounded. They're wounded right now. But they're going to wait. They're going to wait because they have regrets. And they understand why you walked away from them. This person understands why you're ignoring them. And now they see your worth. They're able to see your worth after you walked away from them. 
and they're going to make a decision. They have already made their decision. This person is coming back home. They're coming back home for a new passionate beginning because they still love you. So, viewers, that is your reading. Comment below. Let me know if this is your story. Let me know if this has happened. If you are in the middle of it or just let me know what's going on. Um, share, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Be safe. I'm sending you love, light, peace, and healing energy. Thank you so much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your week. And I will see you next time. If you need something more specific and more private, send me an email. The link to the description is the link to the email address is in the description. I will um open up space for private readings. I'm going to leave it at that. I will see you next time. Good luck. Bye.